Digi fans, it's Dom here again, teaching you how to go from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. This video is all about making your own book cover. You're gonna become artists today. Lots of you will be reading furiously or listening to audiobooks. There's loads of free ones out there at the moment. Um, and this is all about you taking your favorite book and making your own book cover, not the author's, not an illustrator's, your own book cover using Adobe Spark Post. So if you're using a tablet or a phone, download Adobe Spark Post for free. If you're on a laptop or desktop, just go to spark.adobe.com. So here's today's tutorial on how to make your very own book cover using Adobe Spark Post. Okay, everyone, welcome to how to make a book cover using Adobe Spark Post. Now I'm using my laptop here. Uh, if you're using the app, just, you know, you can download that and it looks slightly different, but generally it all goes the same way. So I'm gonna press plus here. Now I'm gonna say create a collage. That's how I'm gonna do mine. There's all sorts of different ways to do it. And I think you can explore all of these, but I am gonna use a collage. So. One of the great things about Adobe Spark is that you get all of these free images. You can get access to all of them. So my book is going to be uh, called is going to be Watership Down. I don't know if anyone's read Watership Down by Richard Adams, but it's an incredible book, and it's about a family of rabbits. One particular rabbit is uh, was kind of the lead character is called Fiverr. So I'm up for that. I've selected. You can see the little tick here. Okay. Uh, now Fiver Fiverr convinces his family and friends that they need to move away because something terrible is gonna happen in the Warren where they live. Now, when they go on their kind of um, adventure and leave the Warren, they get into all sorts of trouble. And one of the things they get into trouble, one of the dangers they see on the get to on the way, what am I trying to say? One of the dangers they experience along the way is uh, they get into trouble with some like hunting dogs and they get shot at as well by a man with a rifle. So, so I've got my rabbit, if you'll see here, and I've got my hunting dog and man, if you can see there. They also get into terrible trouble with a fox along the way. Ooh, now there's all sorts of different fox pictures here. And I really like this one because it shows the fox's fangs, makes them look menacing. Um, and then the final thing is I'm gonna find a picture of a hawk because that is another animal that they have terrible trouble with along the way. Ooh, these two are pretty good. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for this blue one. I like that one. Now you can see I've got my one, two, three, four images. I'm gonna click next. Now, I select the size. Now, I, I'm gonna do a book cover, so generally books are printed. So I'm gonna go for a print one and just go for an A5. A5 is half of the size of an A4 piece of paper, which is typically the size of paper that you're gonna use in school. So that is a pretty good size for the book cover. So uh, now what you'll see is it puts it into a kind of layout here. Now I want my layout to be a bit different. So I'm gonna select layout uh, and you can have a look at all sorts of different layouts down here. And I think the one I'm gonna go for is this one. Okay, now what you'll see is that it's put the, it's kind of randomly chosen where the different images should be. Now, I want my rabbit to go into this square. So I'm just clicking and dragging it. Look at that, does it automatically. Now I also want my, I want this eagle to be in the center of the three at the top. So I'm gonna drag it into there. And I think that kind of balances the colors really nicely. And within each frame, you can also click and drag. So you get, the image to be in exactly the perfect place that you want it to be. I like the way that one is. The one, the, if you look at this hunting one up here, now I can't see the man and the dog, so I'm just gonna move that into the middle. And also you can change the scale here, so I've just moved that down slightly. If you move it up, it kind of goes too far in and you can only probably see one of the two um, things in that picture. So I'm gonna bring the scale right down so I can see both. Okay, I like this fox. I like the way you can see the fangs. So I think, you know, I might sort of center that. But that's looking pretty good to me. Now, uh, what's missing here? Of course, some text is missing. I'm gonna add text. Now, you can use all sorts of different uh, sort of templates here. Um, and they're pretty cool, I like them. But I'm just gonna start from scratch, just so you can see how it's done. And the book is called Watership Down. 
Okay, now uh, I'm going to bring that down just by clicking and dragging it. Now, what you'll see here is if I select it and then go to style, I can move this wheel around and it will give me all sorts of different options for what my text should look like. Ooh, I can, ooh, they all look pretty cool to me. Uh, I'm just going to keep on going until I find one that I really, really like. I like that one. Pretty cool. Now, uh, text effects, I can, well, maybe I'll, what I'll do here is get it all on one line. Okay make it a bit bigger maybe just by dragging the corners there and you'll see that the the line kind of tells you when it's centered maybe i'll go and even even a, a bit bigger here nice okay i like that i like the way that looks watership down now also i need to put in who the author is so i'm going to use the text again now this time i am going to use one of the templates because i think they're pretty cool uh, i'm going to go to here double click the text uh, and then I'm going to put by Richard Adams. Okay, done. Now, uh, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little arrow at the bottom here to square this up. Now, you don't have to. You can put it on an angle if you want, but maybe I will. I'll keep it on an angle. Okay. Uh, but what I also want to do is use this to just make it slightly smaller by Richard Adams. Okay, I'm going to center it around right about there maybe. Uh, now, also, I want to change the color on this. I want to make it a little bit more funky. So you've got all these suggested colors. Uh, I might go for, now check out what I'm going to do here. I'm going to select that. I'm going to flip the colors by pressing that little arrow thing. And rather than it being gray in there, I'm going to change the color by clicking here. And I'm going to select, oh, nice, like an orangey color. Yeah, maybe like that. Yeah, I like it. Okay, now, so I've got my title here. I've got my author here. Uh, now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a quote. Uh, now, one of the things you might have seen on books is that sometimes they have really important people saying really important things. So uh, I could use one of these templates, but actually, I think I'm going to add my own text and I'm going to say um, an incredible read, both exciting and powerful. Okay, this is done. Oh, do you know what I forgot to do there? I'm going to go back in uh, and then I'm going to put Digidom. Because I said that quote and I am incredibly important. See, we can be, we can do whatever we like with this. That's what I really like about it. Now you'll see that it's centering, it's centering and making sure it's uh, centered both uh, vertically and horizontally within that uh, strip of images at the top. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to go to uh, text effects here. Oh, is it? No, I want to go to shape. That's the one I want to go to. Now, you can you can choose all sorts of different shapes for this kind of thing. And the one I'm going to go for, I think, is this one. Ooh, nice. Now, one of the things you might be saying, well, you can't really see that properly. And I would completely agree with you. So I'm going to go to color. Uh, and I'm going to go back to the same colors that I've got at the bottom here. You'll see in my by Richard Adams, I'm going to go back there. Uh, maybe I'll flip that. Nice. Now the you, it means you've got these little um, sort of laurel wreaths around here showing that it's kind of a quote by somebody important, aka Digidom. And then you've got the text in the middle here. I'm going to go to back to text effects and I'm going to say uh, maybe you can change things like the distance so that you can, you might not be able to see on the screen here, but it's making the text stand out just a little bit more than it did before line thickness as well bring that up nice now you'll see that it's much much easier to read uh the final thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put another little bit of text on one of the things which you might have seen in a bookshop is that sometimes
books have little stickers on just saying, oh, you know, this was uh, by a best-selling author or whatever it is. Uh, so I'm going to put on here number, oh, better spell it right, number one best seller. Okay, number one best seller. Uh, again, I want to keep to my color theme. So I'm going to select that, go to color. That's my suggested color. Like it. Uh, I also think that's a bit big. It doesn't look like a sticker. It looks really big. I'm going to do that. I'm also going to flip the text so it looks like somebody's just randomly stuck that sticker on there. And I'm just going to nestle it in there just behind the rabbit's ears. Isn't that cool? I really like that book cover. I'm actually really, really pleased with it. Now, again, you can do all sorts of things. If you wanted to change the title here, you, can, you could go to style and you could just play around with it until you find something you like. Ooh. Nice. Maybe I'll go with that one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Um, and as always, at the end, you can download it just to your computer. You can select any one of these types. I normally go for a PNG or a JPEG. JPEG is the most common, I guess. Uh, or you can go to share here. And you can publish it. So like if you want to share it with your friends and say, hey, have a look at my book, book cover. It's pretty awesome. You might want to send it to your teacher, in which case you create a link and you can just copy that and you can email it to them. Um, what else can you do with that? You can also you can also invite your teacher. You can invite your teacher to actually show you um, to show your teacher. So teacher at my school dot com, something like that. Oh, better put teacher. You know, you can do that if they're using Spark, um, if they've got a Spark account themselves, or it would actually tell them you should open a Spark account, which they should. That's how you produce your own book cover. I hope you enjoyed that video, Digifans. As always, I demand to see your work. So please do share it with me using the hashtag Digidom or find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer, so I can give you a round of applause digitally and also share your work with a larger audience. Um, as always, if you want to get these videos as soon as they come out, uh, please subscribe so that you get them as soon as they come out. Simple as that. Okay, so uh, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.